So rather than letting your money sit in a super fund or a 401k that sort of invests and grows your retirement money, a self-managed super fund or a self-directed 401k, you are in charge of your own funds. So you can actually choose how to invest it. So if you don't wanna go ahead and diversify, you wanna go ahead and put all your money into a certain stock, if you wanna go to real estate, you have the ability to do so. And you don't have to pay fees to these sort of 401k companies or these super funds. So you don't want to set up a self-managed fund if you're trying to get early access to your super or you want to buy a holiday home or you want to sort of decorate your house. These things are illegal. Like you have to only spend the money on things that would help you with your retirement. When you go ahead and create a self-directed 401k or a self-managed super fund, there's a lot of costs. You need someone to literally audit your work and make sure you're not doing anything illegal and this person will be a representative from the government and they'll have like the qualifications to do so. Next, the self-managed super fund levy. Next is administrator, the person that's gonna make sure everything flows because you're investing your money and you need someone to manage everything. Next is an accountant just for your self-managed super fund. And lastly, a tax agent. So there's a bunch of costs, but you're looking at roughly two to five grand a year. Here's some additional sort of costs. There's the brokerage costs if you go ahead and invest your money. Like if you go ahead and invest buy stocks, you're gonna have to buy a brokerage fee. And you know, you might have to pay extra for professional advice from like a financial advisor. So you definitely have to have a lot of money so that the one to two percent you might save from fees compared to a super fund or 401k exceeds your yearly expenses. So if you're spending roughly 5k for all these costs as mentioned, so you're looking at at least two hundred thousand dollars to really make an ROI that is better than putting your money into a super fund or a 401k, you have to have at least $200,000 in cash. So you can't have a self-managed super fund just yourself. You need like people in it because it's an actual company. You need an auditor, like I mentioned before, you need a tax agent and you need an accountant. But the conclusion is, unless you have more than $200,000 in your retirement fund, keep it with a professional hedge fund, let them sort of take all the risks, let them do all the investment, pay them the one or 2% and that's totally fine. As Tony Robbins said, that one or 2% will compound a lot over time. So the moment you get over $200,000, you definitely wanna go ahead and move the money into a self-managed super fund, go ahead and invest in stocks, ETFs, property, and really take control of your own money and remove that one to 2% you'll be paying in fees every single year to these other plants or these 401k companies.